hello friends welcome back to my channel today we are going to see another tutorial on Prometheus in my previous videos we have seen how to set up Prometheus on CentOS this tutorial we will see how we can easily set up Prometheus as a docker container so let's get started if you don't know how to set up docker please check my videos in my channel If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe, like the video, share and comment. To start, I am using a CentOS machine in which the Docker is already installed. As you can see, I don't have any image for Prometheus. So the first step is to go to Docker Hub and we have to get the image for Prometheus. So you can search for Prometheus. You will be able to see different images, but the standard image is prom slash Prometheus. This is the official image from Prometheus website. So if you go to the link, you will be able to see the documentation how to run Prometheus as a Docker container. Okay, let's pull the Docker image for Prometheus first before we create the container. It's not mandatory you have to pull it first, even if you run the command to create the Docker container. If you don't have the image, it will automatically pull the image. Okay, great so the docker image for Prometheus is downloaded so when you run the docker images command you can see the prom slash Prometheus image in the list now to run a simple docker container we can run the Prometheus container using docker run hyphen p and the ports which is 9090 from the host and also from the container The Prometheus container is running now and we can access the site using the host IP address and the port 9090 from the host. So you can see we are on the Prometheus page. You can go to status and you can check the targets. So you'll be able to see the target. If you go to the metrics, you will be able to see the metrics which are captured in the Prometheus. As you can see, there are a lot of metrics which are captured. We can make use of some metrics and we can do a query using Prometheus. We'll be able to get the data from it and we can show it as a graph. So you can see the data is there now.
Okay, let us exit from the current container using Control C. So if you go to Docker PS command, you'll see there are no running container. But if you use the Docker PS hyphen A, you can see the container which is not running now for Prometheus. So we'll remove the container and we'll create a new container for Prometheus. So this time we will create a Docker container in the detached mode. So even if we exit from the main screen, it will be running on the back. And also we'll give some other arguments like a name for the container. The benefit of uh, Prometheus running is Docker container is you can have multiple containers running at the same time. So let me create a new container on the port 9091. Okay, there is an error because we are using the same name as Prometheus, which is already used by another container. So let's change that to Prometheus 1. So you can see we have two Prometheus containers running now. One is on 9090. And another one is on 9091. So you can access uh, one more instance of Prometheus by, by just changing the port to 9091. Okay, let me remove the existing containers, the both the containers running now on 9090 and 9091 ports. So you can see now we are not able to access the Prometheus portal. So this time, you know, what we will do is we will create a folder to store the Prometheus uh, config file. So I'm going to create a Prometheus.yaml file, which is the default file for uh, Prometheus to start. So we'll use the basic uh, template for it. Okay, we have the prometheus.yaml file created under temp prometheus folder. We will make use of this location to map it to the docker container. So let's run a docker container in a detached mode. Give a name as prometheus and the ports map to 9090 on the host and also on the container. We will use the hyphen v to attach the volume slash tem slash prometheus slash prometheus dot yaml to the etc prometheus uh, location
so you don't have to specifically give the temp Prometheus location you can also map uh, to a default uh, docker volume like if you give it just the name like uh, Prometheus underscore config and you can map it to etc slash Prometheus that as well uh, create a default uh, location for docker volume Okay, great. So we have the Prometheus instance running on the port 9092. So this Prometheus, we have a persistent volume for Prometheus.yaml file, which is mapped to your host machine. You can also check the metrics where the data is captured. Let's make use of some of data to run a query and uh, Let's see how the graph comes. So I hope uh, you, we are able to run a Prometheus instance very easily in a Docker container. This is just a start. So we have successfully set up the Prometheus using Docker in this tutorial. We have also seen uh, running Prometheus Docker container in both attached mode and detached mode using hyphen D. And we also map Prometheus config YAML file from host machine to the Docker container using hyphen V parameter. So this is uh, just an introduction tutorial. We'll see more in the upcoming. So thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video, share and comment.